All right, lie down. Like this? There. What's that for? To keep your head in place during the scan. Arms on your side. No! Please give me a second! I don't think I can do this, I'm sorry. It's all right. Please take your time to relax for now. I'm sorry, I just... Let me know when you're ready. Yes. Judging from these results, everything is all right with you, Irina. Nothing seems to be wrong with your brain. Well, to be more specific, physically you're fine. I can't tell from these if it's something psychological. As for the headaches you're having, maybe it's just from personal issues. No, no, no. Everything's fine personally. These headaches I've been having are relentless, and they're really painful when they come. Is that so? I'm sure it's nothing too severe. Let me prescribe these drops for the pain. It's very effective. Many of my patients are satisfied with the results, but of course a healthy diet and exercise help as well. I'm doing all that already, Doctor. I even go swimming and work out. I see. When my wife has those, she just goes out shopping. She ends up buying so much stuff, and I mean a lot, and guess what? Her headache? It's like she never had one. And then I get a headache. Here's your card. Thank you for your purchase. Thanks Please come again. back again. Excuse me. Good afternoon. Hello there. How may I help you? I'd like to see the wedding rings you have available. Of course. Come on, are you been watching where you're going when you're coming out of your slot just now? Just look at this mess. We meet again. <laughs> it's completely my fault. I will pay for the damage I caused to your car. Hey, there's no need. Seriously, I insist. This is no, no bother to, to me at all, I'm this. telling you. It's just that I don't have any money on me right now, but I can find an ATM. I said it's fine. You can go. Thank you for your kindness. Um, look, if it's really that important to you, then I'll, um, give you my number so you can call me.
Take care while driving. Why are you always getting into trouble recently? Either you get hit by someone or you do it. Why do you insist on driving? For example, why don't I get you a driver? Take Paul, for instance. You'll be safer with him. How many times must I tell you? Stop playing while we're eating. Clean up after yourself. Your toys are everywhere. Dad, could you stop giving us lectures while we're all having breakfast? When your father is speaking to you, have the courtesy to let him finish what he's saying. You're what, only 13? Yet you're already wearing makeup? Dad, please. Please what? You're not a model in school. Right. Ah, my brother invited us to visit him tomorrow. Uh, sure, we can go. Well? I promise I'll be careful. Can I take your word on this matter? Yes. By the way, he has this big event as well. Some kind of race, I think. Interested? Of course. Right, Mom? Yes, I'm sure it will be very exciting. You sure? Yes. I won't be back in time for dinner. Excuse me, I'll be going ahead. Hooray! We're going to race us tomorrow! <laughs> Mom, can I skip it? Someone has to give him the flowers. Keep dreaming. Do you mind if I do it? Irina, thank you. <laughs> Congratulations. Can you tell us what you're feeling having finished first against all your competitors? Irina, I can't thank you enough for doing this. I can't believe I'm relying on such useless assistance. Through here, be careful where you step. What's up? The awarding ceremony for our top competitors will begin in just a few moments. Please welcome step? the mayor of our city who will give his opening remarks shortly. Our dear mayor, Victor. Good day to you all, ladies and gentlemen. On the city's behalf, along with its administration, I would like to present this trophy to the winner of this race. Ladies and gentlemen, Andre Gavrusho. A round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, for the winner. Congratulations. regional champion, businessman and gold medal winner, Andre Gavrusho. I'd also like to remind everyone that a month from now, we'll be holding a concert here to celebrate the upcoming City Day. So don't forget to mark your calendars. Once again, I'm inviting hey everyone to be present Congratulations. in our Thank you. Month. And now, a message for our gracious You're, you're uh, holding those flowers off with me. It's all torn up. I would like to thank our sponsors for their support in this event. Take these. Use Secondly, them to cover up for now. Like you want to try and fix it? I would like that very much. All right, then. This Follow me. This would not be possible mm -hmm. without everyone's support. Once again, you have our utmost thanks for attending. And may everyone here have a wonderful day ahead of you. I can do it myself. Let me help you down. I got it. Where to? Right this way. This event is hereby concluded. Cheers. Cheers, everyone, and thank you for coming today. We'll see you next month for City Day, and have a great day. How was my speech? Are you fighting with Daria? Everything's fine. Hmm? Igor, I've hired a new secretary who happens to be a nice girl, I'll have you know. Victor. What's that for? It's a small city, so everyone knows everyone. 
There's nothing between us, I swear. It's not what you think. Plus, Daria's been in the mood these past few days. She's definitely bored here. She misses the capital. She's right. There's nothing for the two of you out here. We'll promote you. Come on, Igor. Are you serious? You've done a lot for me already. So what? You're my brother. Yours. It was just a small scratch. Oh, <laughs> it looks like we got glued together. Give me a second. I'll call for some help. Valera, give me some gas. <laughs> What's the, the gas, gas helps remove? Irina! <laughs> I'll be right there. My hand is stuck. We're leaving. Of course. Is he your husband? He yes. looks rather familiar. His surname is Pelagin. And by default, I'm. What's Mrs. going on? She'll be with you in a moment. I'll be right there. I have to go now. Let me try again. <laughs> See you around. My oh, there you are. What are you doing back here? <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> You're my hero. <laughs> Dory, can we stop this? I have some good news for you. Darling. Come on. I know you want to hear it. We'll talk when we're home. All right, then. OK? Let's go. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, the event is now finished. We thank you all for attending and thank you for your support. Thank you for being here. It's time for you to move into the spotlight, so you have to prepare. Think it over. Of course, I will. Congratulations. <laughs> well done, finishing first. Like that. You look like you wanted to eat him up just now. No, shut up. I'm just looking for my son. Montre! <laughs> Mom, I'm right here in the car. Oh, how's your head? No more headache. Thankfully, I haven't had any recently. Clearly, sports seems to have helped. Or maybe it's something else. Anyway, come see me at the club. We can play tennis and chat when you get there. See you, Daria. See ya. Thanks, Victor. It's always a pleasure. Next time you decide to do something like that, at least tell me in advance. What for? Mom pulled it off. I didn't ask for your opinion. There's no need to get mad, Igor. I just wanted to help your brother out. We've already helped him plenty by coming all the way out here to attend this event he set up. That should be it. And you know that I don't like to attend these kinds of things because my presence in these events means something. And another thing, Irina, you're a Palagin now. You can't do things like that, like abruptly going to the podium with a torn-up dress to congratulate some racer, which is what you did, so now all the tabloids will have a photo of you with that torn dress. It'll be all over their pages. What's more I'm is... I'm hungry. We're almost home, so you should wait until then, son. But I want a hamburger. Is that too much? Matvey, how many times do I have to tell you that that's junk food? I wouldn't mind having a hamburger. Me too. Hamburger! Hamburger! Why don't we get hamburgers? Something is definitely wrong with you today. Dad, I'm going to watch some All football. Right. So what's this good news? My brother's promoting me back to the capital. Is that for real? Yes. I don't want to kiss you right now. Come on now. Daria, just give me a moment. If you don't want to, I won't take it. I'm actually pretty happy here. Victor, you'll be happy anywhere. You've got all the girls you like at your fingertips. You even hired one as your secretary. Now hold on, I've explained everything I to don't you. have the time to listen to your petty excuses. Meanwhile, your brother has a family that is the very definition of perfection. If you're so jealous, why don't we make another baby? Where are you going? The club. Why now? 
Because I want to relax. You dragged me all the way out there for that race, and now I'm stressed out, so I want to go to the club and relax. Daria, how is this suddenly my fault? Because. When will you be home? Soon. Just be careful. I'm fine. Can you drive faster? A good massage will contribute to the overall well-being of your body. Special attention should not only be paid to the upper back, but also to your lower extremities. Areas like here need attention too. Do you understand? Maxim Dimitrovich? Do you have a minute to come to the office? Excuse me for a moment. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go on, start taking off your clothes. Fine then. <laughs> 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 Where did my dress go? Hmm? I threw it away. It's garbage. You threw away my clothes? You still plan on wearing those rags? Never mind. Doesn't matter. You know, you always end up telling me what I should and shouldn't do. I could say the same for you, you know? What? <sighs> Let's go to sleep. Listen, Igor. We should get divorced. Hmm? Our love has burned out already. The timing would be perfect, too. The children will leave soon. We can do it while they're away this summer. We can tell them after. Say something back. Mom, can I skip camp this summer? Mm -mm. But I really don't want to. I hate the uniform we wear. We look like early Soviet pioneers dressed with red scarves. 
It's just uniform. Meanwhile, we have to speak English for the rest of summer. But you do know it's great that you get to practice it. Not to mention it's one of the best of all the camps available. Besides, we agreed on this. It's done. Nothing left to discuss. Nina, I need to step out for a while, so could you watch them for me? It's no problem. Anything else? No, that's it. She's scary, isn't she? You're scared too? <laughs> She's just kidding, you know? Well, I am, but what's wrong with choking around a little? It's probably because you're not going to camp. There's no need to be sad this early in the morning. Why don't we play a game? Play a game? That's right. What do you say? Shall we? Let's go. Mom, are you okay? What Let game is it? The rules are simple. We take this pillow, then we throw it at each other while giving compliments. Anyone have questions? With compliments? That's right. <laughs> you're the sweetest. <laughs> you're the nicest. <laughs> then you're my pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> Then Maria's an apricot. <laughs> you are the brightest. Then you're the brightest. Hey, don't repeat what I said. That wasn't in the rules. <laughs> it was just to lighten the mood. Come here. So do you feel better now? Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> then I'm happy. <laughs> Did you have fun? Better than when I'm playing video games. <laughs> the two of you. I love you so much. Anastasia. I was just thinking that I should, you know, I... No, no, I trust you. Come in, come in. I, um, you know that I don't, um, have any idea about that part, so it's your call. Sign it. There it is. The beginning of your married life. Honey, do you love me? Of course I do. Come on, you know it didn't sound like that, and it never will. <laughs> everything good? Yes, everything's fine if you don't go into the details. Whoa, the whole city's gonna cry when you're married. What do you mean? Just the women, mostly. I've wanted to ask you this, so is she the one for you? Yes, yes, she's my one true love. Honestly, I just had to marry someone, so I ended up with her. I should code you. This would set the headlines on fire. Hey, hey, stop that, Alexei. <laughs> Anastasia's the best girl, write that. That sounds a lot better. Of course it does. By the way, the videos from the race recently are on your computer. The videos from the race? Yep. Let's have a look. Go ahead. Uh-huh. Yes? Anastasia, you... F five minutes. Give me five minutes, I'm stuck in traffic. Bye. I'm getting a divorce. With whom? My husband. Wait, 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 hold on a sec. What did you say? Hmm? I'm getting a divorce. Well, tell me his name then. You have to tell me the reason why you're getting oh, one. It it's that racer, isn't it? Oh, come on. Tim, Just because be him, of the right? race, you... I knew I was well, right. You do know he's engaged, little? right? So what if he's engaged? I don't really care. This is great. So tell me, where did you meet him? That accident? I hit his car with mine. And? And I thought he would start calling me names like Dumb Blonde, but instead he calmly spoke to me. <laughs> did you notice the pair of wings behind his what? back like an angel? Because I certainly like them with the wings. Oh, Daria, what are you talking about? He's certainly weird, yes, but that's yes, fine. Yes. Men come in all shapes and forms. It's just up to us what we want to deal with. Mm -hmm. Enough of your smooth talk. Tell me why you're divorcing Igor. Don't tell me it's just because you like him. No. I just realized that I don't love Igor anymore. Our time is over, that's all. That's it. I can't believe it. Your marriage is over just like that? Listen, do you actually think every wife out there still loves their husband for years? You see, there are men you live with, and then there's the ones you love. They can be either, but they're never both. Your husband's the first one. Come on, really? Well... I hope you're happy with yourself. You got fired with a scandal. You should be more like your sister. She's smarter than you. Come now. What, Mom? You should be like your sister. Yes, Mom? 
I went to see Daria for a bit. I'll be right there. Angelina, it's Daria. Yes, it's been a while, hasn't it? Please tell Irina that she's crazy when she gets there. Do you know what she's planning to do? She's planning to get a divorce Hold of on. all things. Wait, what I'm not done yet. Come on. To my mother of all people. Hear what? Divorce? I'll explain it to you later Irina, when I'm there, Mom. If you actually go through do with you... this, you're not the only one who's going to I'll be, be there affected. soon, so I'm please. Also going to be affected as well because I'm married to Victor. Irina. Mom, please. Look, speak of the devil. I can see why you're going through with this. To tell you what, I'll give you a chance to redeem yourself. What? You'll see in a bit. Hello there, Andre. It's nice to see you again. Unfortunately, the planned renovation of the court will be starting shortly. You get it. We found some cracks in the court, you see. I'm sorry, but could you come back tomorrow? That's great. See you then. What was that? That was me giving you a chance to rethink this decision of yours. Mm -hmm. Think of it this way. You are currently Irina Palagin, the wife of the Igor Palagin. Have you ever considered that? What happens when you no longer have a surname? Are you suggesting that I just cheat on him? Like, <laughs> cheat? You got me. I'm sure you're just trying to take the high road on this one. Irina, you have to face reality, all right? You live with one, love another, and sleep with a third. You can't have it all. This is too complicated for me. Well then, take care, Daria. You too, Irina. The park's development plan was approved. The plans for the future amusement park and fountains are ready too. That's great right to hear, Margarita. And for your next task, I want you to prepare a press release and have it ready so that we can have it uploaded to our website within the day. Of course, I'll get it done for you. Do you have any questions for me? I don't. Everything is transparent and clear to me. I do enjoy when it's clear and when it's transparent. <laughs> Come here. Are you serious? Of course. What if someone comes in? Now who would do that? <laughs> I'm the mayor. <laughs> Oh Hi, dear. Mm. I honestly thought you weren't coming. Of course coming. I would. Whoa. Hello, Anton. Hello, hello. Here you are. Why aren't you at work? Uh, Anton, you're fired. <laughs> Why don't you just take those to the kitchen? Oh, <laughs> so are you gonna tell me what happened? Can't you be content with what you have? And now, you're jobless again. And all of your colleagues aren't good enough for you. Just enlighten me. Is there anything that you enjoy in this life? I'm done! Of course there is, Ed. Of course there is. But I'm not going to suck up to them. Even my bosses are talentless hacks. Fine, then. Every time I take a liking on someone, mm. I'm suddenly so... inappropriate. So, screw it. I'm better off oh, without them come anyway. On, son. Just, Just let me handle this. I'll say. fix it myself. Just be there. honest. I don't need another lecture. Listen to me. You don't Irina, are you really worse. getting a divorce? Yes, it's true. I, I can't believe it. Mom, Mom, don't make such a big deal out of this. It's going to be fine. What are you, what are you wearing? You shouldn't be wearing something like this. Your hair is beautiful after all. Stop trying to change the subject. You have to tell me what happened to you. Is there someone else? Of course not. There really isn't anyone else, but there's this guy. We just recently met, but I don't know. But nothing is going on. I don't think there ever will be. It's just that I don't really know what I feel about him. It's really hard to explain. Do you get what I said? The only thing I know is that you have children. Can't this wait until they both grow up? Mom, if I wait that long, my spirit would be broken. I don't know how to explain it to you, but I haven't felt this happy in my life. When I gave birth to them, I was happy. When I was younger, too. And now it feels like I got out of the cage I found myself locked into. I don't want to be a prisoner anymore. Oh, Irina, I don't know. Maybe you're right. But you have to consider this. If your mind is already made up, there's no coming back from this. Divorce means divorce. As for the children, 
When their parents go through a divorce, they lose the role models that would teach them to love, to care, which will affect their relationships, giving them difficulty to love. Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> That dress has a wonderful and creative design. The color of the dress matches any jewelry you'll wear. My dear, that dress you're in reminds me of myself during my wedding with your father all those years ago. It's great, Anastasia. <laughs> I'm honestly really jealous of how you look in that yeah, dress. Yeah, yeah, everyone will be green with envy at the look wedding. Her. She looks like a princess. <laughs> so, what do you think? Right? She's so pretty. Look at that. The details on the dress are amazing. Mm. You look better without it. I'll see you later. Excuse me, I'm full already. Now hold on, Matvey. Have a seat. You are not in a restaurant. You don't just leave when you please. A family gets together at the dining table. Not only for a meal, but to talk to each other, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. May I also be excused? Let them go. All right. Start packing your bags. Yes, Father. Go on. Igor? Hmm? Last night I told you something important. What now? Did you listen? Tell me again. Igor. We need to divorce. What's your response? I'm thinking. You say we, you say need, you say to divorce, but to divorce is the only thing that makes sense to me. What you mean is I, right? Not need, but want, right? Whatever, sure. I will explain everything. No need. By the way, I do have conditions. For now, I would just like for you to not act on this until autumn. Is that fine? As long as we have an agreement, then I'll comply to this. But you should know that I will consider myself divorced already. I'm sorry. Fine, then. That's fine. <sighs> Do we have an agreement? Do we even have to agree on this? You have already made a decision. I see that. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> I just remembered our first time. It was like this, but with you in my arms. But all of a sudden, you moved away from me. So I suddenly started wondering, what's wrong? To be honest, I was terrified. I tell you, don't worry. <laughs> I really thought that I did something wrong earlier. But then you said, it's nothing, don't worry. And that scared me. Turns out your legs were cold. <sighs> it's funny. 
Irina, was it all a dream? Why haven't you said a word at all? There's nothing left to say. What? We should get some sleep. <clears throat> Good night. Good night, Igor. Hey there. Why are you still up, huh? What took you so long? Well, a pipe burst in a swimming pool, so we had to fix it. You're a plumber? Don't tell me you're getting jealous. <laughs> you are, aren't you? <laughs> Didn't you know that the relationship between a man and a woman should be based on trust? No? That's rich coming from someone who's jealous of his secretary. Then don't give me a reason to be. Otherwise, I'll just get a divorce. What would you do if I ask you for a divorce right now? I'll hang myself. <laughs> I don't buy that one bit. I think you're more likely to hang me instead of yourself. First you, then me. Mm -hmm. So tell me, what's with the question? I was just curious. Nina, I'll be back home late today. Make sure you make dinner for both the children. Of course. And also... I know it's none of my business, but... Is this coffee cold, or is it warm? Which one? I think it's neither. You're wrong. It has to be one or the other, right? It's the same when it comes to what's your business and what is not. I'm glad you know the difference between the two. Thank you, Nina. Is it good? It's so so. Headache? Huh? It's the weather.
Yeah. Hello, Andre. Hello, Irina. I wanted to... to pay you back for the car accident we had before. I told you it's fine. Well, I insist. What time would you like to meet, then? Right now. <laughs> Hello, Andre. Let me get something out of the way. I have to tell you I've fallen for you hard. So, um, there it is. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not expecting a reply from you. I'm just so happy right now that I knew I had to tell you the moment I saw you. I couldn't just wait around to say, I love you. Honestly, I've never said that to anyone else. <laughs> but since I'm being honest, I actually have a long time ago. The first time doesn't really count, right? <laughs> I do love you. <sighs> That's it, I said it. I finally said it. With that said, bye. See you. <sighs> I almost forgot. Here's the money for your car. Will there be anything else, sir? to kiss someone you love. I thought it would be much better. <laughs> but actually, in this reality, that's nothing more than a fantasy, isn't it? But it's comforting all the same. Then you wouldn't mind if I kiss you again. Hey, could you open the gate? Who are you? Who are we? We're relatives. Maria! Maria, what's wrong? I expected this from Matve, but you're not a child anymore. I said I'm not going. Then give me a good reason why you aren't. Enough of this already! The minute we'll leave, you two will get divorced. Who told you that? I just know. Good afternoon. Hello, where is Irina? Irina's upstairs, but she will be coming down soon. Please have a seat while you wait. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh. <clears throat> hey, stop it. Put them down. Dad. Hello. It's nice to see you, Mom. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Nina! Here are some pastries. I baked them for the kids. I know they'll be away for the so summer. So we came here to see you. I appreciate it. There's a bit of trouble upstairs, so just wait here in the meantime. I'll be back in a minute. Mm -hmm. So, this is what corruption looks like up close. Enough of that. He earned it properly. Uh-huh. Sure he did. Look, Maria. Your grandparents came to visit you I too. don't care! Did you give us a minute alone? Matve, let's go. They're going to have a girl talk. Maria. You can't make me go anywhere. I'd rather jump out of the window.
You've always dreamed of living independently from us, right? Yes, I have. That's exactly what I want. Really? Are you serious? Your father and I, don't we have the right to decide for ourselves? Maria, listen to me. You can stay here if you really want to. Unfortunately, that won't change anything. We will still get a divorce. You could have at least lied. That everything was going to be fine. I've really had enough. All the lies. I'm done. Fine. You're right. I'm sure everything will be fine. Yuri, maybe you shouldn't have come here without their invitation. There you are, Igor. Okay. Hello, Hello, Grandpa. I picked some cucumbers, especially for you. Thank you, Yuri. This hey, is Yuri. nice. Hello, Anton. You'll have to excuse dear. me. There's a plane we have to... Where are my manners? Please stay. We have to go, so make yourselves comfortable. Nina will attend to you. Maria! <laughs> what do you think? You like it? <laughs> now imagine while I'm wearing this ring, along with that wedding dress, then everyone goes crazy. <laughs> I can try other designs if you want to. There's this one ring that... Thank you. <laughs> Why do you look so sad? Did something happen? It's beautiful. <laughs> I think we're moving too fast, Anastasia. What do you mean, too fast? The wedding's in two weeks. What do you think? Huh? <laughs> Aren't we rushing this marriage? Do you want to postpone it? No. I don't want to postpone. Thank you. Anastasia. Anastasia. Are you even going to tell me what's wrong? I'm telling you everything's fine. So you don't like me anymore? No, I do like you, but that's not the reason. Then what is it? Tell me. You and I are about to get married. We have guests, limousines, and restaurants ready. Even the, the press. Everything is paid for. Do you understand what you're saying right now? Anastasia, you are an incredible, wonderful girl, and you're amazing, and you, you, you... But I don't love you. before did you ever even love me i apologize back then i it's only now that i've come to understand what love is I've been thinking that maybe, that maybe, you've given me too much money back then, so I was thinking of giving it back. Are you asking me out on a date? And what if I am? I just want to see you right now. 